Hey guys, um, so today we are doing my Ipsy unbagging for June. Um, I quite literally just filmed this and then noticed I didn't turn my stupid mic on. So I, I just need to like make a checklist apparently before I sit down to film. But yeah, this is uh, going to be June's Ipsy bag. So if you want to see what I got in my bag, make sure you keep watching. So here is the bag that we got, um, and the theme this month is volume up, and it's just pretty much like be bold, be seen, be heard sort of thing. Um, I was going to do a try on style video. There's like three out of the five products that you can't really try on. I will tell you that the two products that you can, I do have on my face right now, and I can give you my first impression feel of them. First thing we got was this Koki Nail Polish. Um, it is in the shade Atlantis at last, and this is so pretty. I think this will be a great color for summertime, and I'm super excited to put it on my nails. That of course is a full size product. Up next, we got this Skin Iceland Solution for Stressed Skin. Stressed Skin. It's a glacial face wash with white willow bark. I need to do some research on this product and just make sure that it's good for like sensitive skin and what they say online. And once I do that, I will definitely let you know. Um, you know what I found out and if it worked or anything like that um, and this is good for up to 12 months then we got another face product and this is by hey honey uncover detoxifying mud mask clarifies and detoxifies skin of impurities it is for normal to oily skin so you probably won't want to use this if you have dry skin um, and it's pretty just like you wash it off you don't peel it off or this one is good for up to nine months as well It's the same thing I'm gonna do some research see what they say online about it and then you know I'll let you know and if I test it out I'll let you know how it worked so now we're into like the next two try on items um, and first up we got this blush from balm springs and it is a long wearing blush um, it's fancy because it has like probably French I think it's French on there and it says you know for hot and warm summer nights um, and then I believe it's kind of hard to tell but I think this is in the shade in full swing so I do have this color on my cheeks right now and it's really subtle I kind of went light-handed just because I've never used it before um, it did this weird little like patchy thing I don't know if it just like got weird with my highlight that I have on but this side worked a little bit better so I just need to play around with it and see what it's all about but um but yeah I'll play around with it but I do like about this little deluxe sample is that there's a magnet in there so that is really nice I need to get like a little mini palette and just kind of like put all these random pans that I have so next is this NYX Wit the Fute. If I butcher that, I'm sorry. And this supposedly is a lip and cheek color. Um, and it just has that in a whole bunch of different languages. Ingredients, blah, blah, blah. This is good for up to 18 months. Oh, that's kind of cool. It like shows you little pictures of where you're supposed to put it. Um, did I mention, side note, did I mention the Hey Honey is not tested on animals and that's the detoxifying mask that one doesn't say anything about it who knew nail polish had an expiration date 24 months Anywho, so this is in the color pink cloud here is the applicator and I thought I liked it at first but then once I actually put it on I realized that it um, doesn't put the product on evenly Okay, you can kind of tell with that. And then, I mean, it is a wit color. I don't expect it to be totally opaque. It is the color that's on my lips right now. Um, I do like it once it's settled in. It kind of just reminds me of like a limp tint. Um, and what I did was I put it on, didn't really like how that looked, and then I just used my finger to kind of spread it out. And this is what came of that. Now that I've had it on for a couple minutes, It is very comfortable. It's not drying at all. And now that it's dried and had like 10 minutes to settle, it's not really coming off. I did just notice it is kind of caking in right there, which I'm not a huge fan of. 
Um, but yeah, now that it's like actually on, it is pretty. I don't like that it is starting to build up around my lip. It's really clinging on to those dry patches that are kind of like on the inside. Um, I do like it overall. Would I put this on my cheeks? We'll have to see about that. I will test it out. I will let you know. I'll keep you updated. But that's everything for this video. If you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. If you like this type of video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't already, please make sure you follow all of my social medias. They are linked down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. They're not really on the inside. That's a little weird. Just kind of like I got some like dry patches going on in like here. <sighs> I'm gonna slow down because this is a very fast video. It's a little random.